Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the arthropods. Whether you love them or you are bothered by them, insects are everywhere. Wherever your eyes go, they are there. You see them in your garden, on trees, on television shows, and even in zoos. Yes, some of them may become pests in our home that eat our garden plants like the grasshoppers, or maybe some of them live in dirty places in our house like cockroaches, or even those annoying mosquitoes that bite you. But not all of them are bad and actually, all of them have a reason for existing. In fact, they can be helpful. Like bees and other insects, they make up the largest group of animals on earth, the arthropods. Let's find out what they really are. Arthropods are animals that have a hard outside covering called an exoskeleton. But arthropods aren't all just insects, they also include the crustaceans and arachnids. So what are their physical features? Arthropods are generally small animals. The exoskeleton is made of a material called chitin. It is hard and cannot bend. It's like our bones and skin are combined, so basically like a suit of armor. They have jointed limbs. The limbs must be joined since the exoskeleton cannot bend to allow movement. Fun fact, when arthropods outgrow their old exoskeleton, they have to molt. That means leaving behind their former skin and growing a new one. It's like changing their clothes since it doesn't fit anymore. All arthropods have to do this at least once in their lives. Most arthropods are segmented, meaning that their bodies are divided into sections. The sections have pairs of jointed legs. Many arthropods can walk up walls and ceilings. They use small claws or some special gripping hair at the end of the legs to grip tiny bumps in the surface. Arthropods are invertebrates, which means they do not have a backbone. They have a brain and a long nerve cord and sense structures that allow them to sense their surroundings. Fun fact learners, did you know that ants are the strongest creature on earth? Well, based on their size, a single ant can carry 50 times its own body weight and they'll even work together to move bigger objects as a group. Imagine 50 times. Have you noticed that almost all insects have this antennae like body part? Well, since they cannot really see individual objects, they use their antennae to sense those objects. Antennae can also locate other group members if the insect lives in a group, like the ant. So what are the types of arthropods that exist? Arthropods are divided into four groups. First is the chelicerates. At first glance, they may not appear related to each other. They include the arachnids such as spiders and scorpions, sea spiders, and horseshoe crabs. Next is the Myriapods. The term myriapod means many legs, so it is not surprising that centipedes, millipedes, and other many leg creatures are part of this family. Next is the crustaceans. You may know them because they are delicious seafood. They are the aquatic arthropods that include lobsters, crabs, shrimp, crayfish, barnacles, and the add one out, wood lice, also known as pill bugs. Unlike their aquatic cousins, wood lice live mostly on dry land. And lastly, the hexapods. It might not surprise you to learn that insects, which all have six legs, are hexapods. Insects include most bugs such as flies, ants, termites, beetles, dragonflies, mosquitoes, cockroaches, butterflies, and moths. They might be pissed for some, but for other people, they even consider these insects a delicacy. Slimy yet satisfying. So, how do arthropods eat? Arthropods eat many different kinds of food. Some eat plants like the locust, but some eat other animals like the praying mantis. They eat anything that moves. Fun fact learners, did you know that the female praying mantis eat their husbands after mating? 
Well, they do it to nourish their pregnancy. Black widows also do this. That's why they're always called a widow. Okay, back again to the topic. Some arthropods usually have some kind of appendages or body parts near the mouth that they use to gather their food. Some spiders and other arthropods use the appendages to deliver a venom or poison to capture their prey. Some use their fangs. They also use this for defense so be careful when approaching spiders. They might really bite you. Scorpions use a single stinger at the top of the tail. Some scorpions sting are fatal like the bark scorpions in North America. Some crustaceans are scavengers that means they eat what's left on animal's body. So how do arthropods reproduce? Most arthropods lay eggs, though some give birth to live young. In many cases, the animals hatch from the eggs in a different form than the adult form. So learners, those are the arthropods. Not all of them are insects and pests. They help the environment too. And they serve as food for a lot of other animals. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.